got you involved with uh, Disney Nature? You know, I had just completed working on Big Hero 6. Uh, I work in, I've been working in animation now for 24 years. And uh, they asked me if I would be interested in producing a Disney Nature project. And, you know, I said, yeah, that's interesting. I'd never done something like that before. Uh, and uh, they showed me um, a couple of films by Lu Chuan, who is the director. Sure. Lu Chuan is one of the greatest um, film directors and storytellers in China today. I saw those films and I said, sign me up, I'm there, <laughs> I'm there. And then I fell in love with these incredible animals and this entire process. As did I, the, the, yeah. the film is great. Um, this brought me back to my childhood actually. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch these uh, Disney live action adventures right, right, um, right. right before school. And this reminded me so much of that yeah. Uh, were there any other animals that you know that they were going to focus on besides the, the ones that we that we saw in the film? Well, yeah. They, I mean, they actually had film crews uh, searching out different animal families throughout China. It became very evident that the the three major stories were going to be centered around the panda, the snub-nosed sure. monkey, and, and the, the snow leopard. But then, you know, we couldn't lose the Chiru and the, the Red Crested Crane because they have such a kind of cultural significance sure. in China. So the the whole story is kind of parentheses by culture and mythology with these three beautiful animals. That's awesome. How did uh, John Krasinski, uh, how, was, how was he involved? Like how did you guys get him involved? Well, you know, it's funny because I uh, thought of Krasinski immediately because I knew that this story had a lot of Heart. Sure. It had a lot of drama, but it had also a lot of c comedy. And I, so I knew I needed a really good actor, but I also needed someone who could handle the comedy. And Krasinski is amazing. John is such a passionate guy, and he puts his heart and soul into this. And I think he's done an amazing job. Can you talk to me about the differences between the, because you just said you did Big Hero 6, obviously. Right. Uh, the challenges between doing an animated feature compared to doing a live action, a live action. nature feature. Well, it's interesting because you start from whole cloth with, uh, with an animated feature. You start off writing a script. You start off then storyboarding it. You start designing until you finally build up to final images. Sure. Here, you're actually starting with final images right, right. and moving backwards. Uh, but, you know, the great thing is that they meet in the middle somewhere. And the storytelling is not a lot different in a weird way. Really? Yeah, because the animals actually provide the story. And then you're there to help shape it and make it uh, something special for the audience to watch. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you personally, which, which uh, animal was your favorite journey to watch? Oh boy, it depends on the hour. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm I'm absolutely captivated by the beauty and uh, cuteness of Mai Mai, the little panda sure. cub. But I think for me, in the long run, um, I love the snow leopards. Me too. That was my that was my yeah, favorite. The snow leopards. Journey. First of all, the snow leopards. You know, th there's not a lot of footage of those. Oh, really? Uh, in extent, you know, th we we're the first Western crew actually to get in to the Qinghai Plateau wow. to do this filming. And it t took 90 days to get our first shot. They're, you know, they're the most elusive animal on this planet. Sure. And, uh, you know, we were lucky enough to have a fellow by the name of Shane Moore, who's this incredible big cat cinematographer, who really learned how to sh shoot them. And he was out uh, in the field for about 256 days wow. in order to get the footage that you saw. So this is the most extensive footage we have of a snow leopard. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. That's amazing. I have to ask, last but not least, um, Big Hero 6 is one of my favorite oh, Disney films. that's great. Films. Thank you. And one of my favorites, too. Yeah. Any chance we're going to see a Big Hero 7 or Big Hero 6 too? You know, uh, that is still up in the air. Uh, Chris Williams and Don Hall, my two directors, we've talked about it, but we just don't know. You know, we, we want to make sure if we do move into that direction, that we actually are telling a story that is as strong as the original. So we're still playing with it. Well, there's tons of rumors out there that Tadashi could be coming back in, in Big Hero 7. Oh, possibly. you're right. Oh, you're <laughs> That's, I, listen, I cosplayed Tadashi. That's a rumor, by the way. Yeah, yeah I cosplayed Tadashi <laughs> at uh, one of these conventions once, and it was amazing. I love Tadashi. He's like my oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, he's a great character. But back to this, uh, Born in China, it is an amazing, amazing journey. Thank you. Um, how long was the crew out there for? Well, each, each 
Animal had a different crew. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, as I said, uh, Shane Moore, who was doing the, the Snow Leopards, Leopard, was yeah. out there for 256 days over four trips over six seasons. So, you know, it was, a, it was, it was very long. Uh, the, the monkey shoot and the panda shoot, uh, it, the same amount of trips, uh, less time out in the field. Interesting. So, um, with with following around uh, these animals, was there any conditions that may have um, altered some of the film at all? Like any of the oh. actual, you know, uh, weather conditions? N oh well, the, you know, you, you're you're totally a slave to the weather. Sure. You know, I mean, what happens happens. Uh, I think we always approach our filming in the strictest of all ways, and we, we let nature take its course. Of course. And we record what what's there. Um, there's a great thing at, in, in the end, uh, Rolf Steinman, who's one of the cinematographers who did the Chiru, doing time-lapse photography out I saw, there, yeah. where you know the weather was not cooperating with him. But when all is said and done, I think the, the secret to any kind of entertainment, any kind of filmmaking, uh, and particularly nature film, uh, filmmaking, is perseverance. Sure. And that's what these guys do so well.